Well, hi. Well, don't look so shocked, sweet cheeks. You're the one that did some spell work to summon a demon, and yet people are always surprised when one turns up. As if being punctual is so shocking. Oh, was that not what you were aiming for? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, poof, here I am. Well, if it was an accident, it's turned into a happy one. I'm awesome, so you're welcome. And you? You're pretty cute yourself. I'm more of a leather and studs kind of girl, as you can see, but I can appreciate the whole hippie flower child vibe you've got going on. And there is a lot of crochet in this room, though, isn't there? Hmm? You were trying to summon an angel. Why? They're such party poopers. So serious. And terrible fashion sense. I mean, look at my little outfit. Isn't it cute? It compliments my horns so well. Aren't you glad I showed up instead? I'm much nicer to look at, trust me. No, 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 don't scurry away to the corner of the room. Oh, God. <laughs> look at you all scared. You're adorable when you're scared, though, I must say. Just look at your knobbly little knees knocking together. What? I'm not going to eat you. Unless you want me to. In the non-cannibalistic sense, of course. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian. Yes, really. You think the little hippie chicks like you are the only ones allowed to like piggies? They're smarter than dogs. Anyways, you didn't answer my question. Do you want me to eat you out? Oh, your face has gone very pink. Like a little strawberry. Oh, you are cute. I'd put you in my pocket and carry you around a bit. This skirt doesn't have pockets, it's far too tight. I don't know, you look like you need a good tumble in the sheets. You seem stressed. I could make you feel better. Fine. No wonder you were asking for an angel. They're such prudes. No, no, no. Well, I'm here now. What do you need assistance with? Sweet strawberry human girl. I can help. I can be very helpful. You're not going to tell me what you need help with. But I came all this way. No, thank you. Well, at least let me look at this spell you did. I can correct you there, since I'm not what you asked for. <laughs> Well, my little strawberry, there's your problem. Um, you've got a black feather, not a white one, and... Oh, honey. No. You used coloured candles instead of white. No, no, no. Oh, no, specifics are important. And angels are picky little things. No wonder I got the message instead. No stores around here had the stuff... Oh, are we, like, in the sticks? Out in the countryside? Move. I want to see out the window. Oh, look at that. We are. Oh, a horse. Hi. Oh, I want to pat it. But anyways, yeah, you have internet access even out here, surely. Okay, next time just order something. Jesus. I'm a phantasmal otherworldly being. So, yes, my darling, I do know about the internet. Are you still not going to tell me what your problem is? Hmm? I mean, you've gone to all this trouble. <laughs> oh, you think I'm just going to go away? Oh, <laughs> no, I don't think so. You're interesting and I'm bored, so I think I'll hang around in this realm for a bit. Keep an eye on you. Oh, yes. Consider it my gift to you, my little strawberry. Hmm? Your very own demon helping you out. 
Oh, don't worry, I won't let anyone else know I'm here. It'll be our little secret. Oh, maybe because I get to keep looking at you too. I told you, you're cute. Do you really think demons give out compliments they don't mean? No. Oh, what's in here? Oh, underwear drawer. I was hoping that's what it was. Oh, but these are so nice. Oh, so many lacy things. Oh, now come on. Don't you want to try these on for me, little strawberry? We could have a little fashion show. Mm. Spoil sport. I'll just have to make do with my imagination then. Why are you so shy? I mean, look at you. I'd do unspeakable things to you in a heartbeat. Right here, on this bed. Oh, it is comfy. <laughs> Don't you want to join me? <laughs> ah, you paused. That was a definite pause. I can see you thinking about it. Hmm. <sighs> Well, if I don't get to see what's under that little top of yours, do you at least have any snacks or something? I mean, I have come all the way from hell. <gasps> yes, house tour. Take me to your kitchen. That's usually where snacks are kept, isn't it? Oh, look at your little house. Oh, you've got plants and posters galore. Humans are cute. Anyway, what's in here? Oh, chocolate. Consider this my payment for my services today. Well, services would be provided, but you won't let me. Won't tell me what's wrong that you need a supernatural being to intervene. Won't let me eat you out. I mean, you've tied my hands. I could do that, you know. Tie you up. If that's what you're into. I'm very good at it. No, no, you don't get to know my name. That's privileged information. Seeing how badly you screwed up your little angel summoning circle you've got back there, you might not know this, but there are rules. Demons don't just give out their names, not for free, anyways. Well, you could start by telling me what you need help with. Well, maybe I'm curious and not knowing is going to drive me batshit insane. And maybe I want to be able to rub it in the angels' faces that I was the one to help. And maybe I just want to help baby cakes. Is that so hard to imagine? Hmm. Do I seem evil? to you think about it no I didn't think so I told you there's a lot you don't know about this sort of stuff so <sighs> you're not very good at expressing yourself are you Okay, is it money related? That's usually the big one. No. Career related? No. Family related? Oh, ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. All right. Are you going to expand on it or am I going to have to keep playing 20 questions? Which is fine. You have plenty of chocolate and oh, peanut butter too. <laughs> Yum. Hmm. Oh, honey, just open up. You'll feel so much better. Uh-huh, you have this cousin and... Oh, come on, little strawberry. You're so close to a breakthrough. Mm hmm. Oh, this is like some reality TV level drama. <laughs> not gonna lie, I love it. So... Let me get it right. You're the only one not invited to her wedding because she says you're trying to seduce her fiancé. <gasps> you can tell me, are you trying to seduce her fiancé? Oh, you haven't even met him yet. 
Well, that makes it a little hard to seduce someone. Okay, so your cousin is delusional, noted. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's brutal. Even by my standards. Oh. So you told her you were gay to get her to back off of the whole stealing her fiancé thing and she outed you to the whole family. Oh, and the rest of the family is taking her side. Nice, real nice people suck. I prefer hell. Well, first of all, Strawberry, very well done on the, the opening up. A plus. 10 out of 10. First question, when is her wedding? Oh, no reason. Don't worry about it. Well, that's all incredibly bad. Very bad. You want some chocolate? I think you need some chocolate. And my offer to eat you out still stands. It would significantly reduce your stress levels. There's like science behind it and everything. So like what in particular did you want your little angel buddy to do about this? Make everyone okay with it. <laughs> Not to be a Debbie Downer, can't quite do that. Angel or demon doesn't work that way. We can't change individuals' thoughts or behaviours. It's all down to that personal will nonsense. Hmm. I can make them forget, though. Mm -hmm. I can make it so that conversation never happened. And by extension, no one else will ever know. Pinky swear. And that's sacred, no matter your denomination. Even the king of hell respects the pinky swear. You have to ask me. To do it, you have to ask me. You have to ask very specifically. Perfect. Perfect done. Your cousin will still be a douche canoe, but she won't know that particular fact about yourself. So she won't have the ammunition. And everyone else will go back to not knowing either. We'll text one of them if you don't believe me. But you should believe me. I don't lie. Hmm. Oh, cookies. Oh, I'm going to make a little dessert board. Oh, look at your cute plates. I mean, it's not my style, but you've got your own little thing going on here, and I love it. See? I told you. Oh, well, you're welcome. So polite. You feel better? I told you I could help. Here, have a cookie. So cut her out. Don't go to a stupid wedding. So what if she's family? She sounds gross. You don't know her anything. You don't know why she's behaving that way. Oh, honey. She's jealous. A hundred percent. Yeah, you are weird. And by the looks of your ceramic frog collection and that taxidermy bird over there... You're interesting. You're very well spoken. Seemingly intelligent from what I've gathered so far. And you're hot. She's intimidated by that, even if she doesn't realise it. I've seen it time and again. I don't know why you don't think you're hot. I've repeatedly tried to get into your pants or up your skirt in this case. And you confirmed yourself you're down for some girl-on-girl -girl action, so... Well, I was just hopeful before, but now I know there's at least some sort of chance. Oh, well, we can do all sorts of things. Fingers and tongues. Surely you have some toys hidden away somewhere. Like I said, there's internet access here. 
Oh, yeah, that's a yes. Look at that cute little strawberry blush again. And you smell nice too. Like coconuts. I am standing very close to you, aren't I? In this tiny little kitchen. Not a whole lot of room, is there? Oh, baby cakes. I've been observing humans for a very, very long time. There's not a whole lot of use in pretending you're not at least a little bit curious. Well, for one, I can see your eyes flicking between my chest and my horns like you're watching a tennis match. You can touch them if you want. My horns, that is. Oh, you've got a courageous streak in you, good girl. It feels like if someone were to stroke your hair. Like this. <laughs> Does that feel nice? Just brushing my fingers through your hair. It's lovely. Even if you do need to trim off some split ends. I told you I don't lie. <laughs> and what if I trace my fingernails down your cheek? Hmm? Well, you're holding very still. Is that a good thing? The thing about demons is we've got very good hearing. I can hear your heartbeat fluttering away like a little bird. Oh no, you're not afraid. I can tell that too. Maybe at first when I initially arrived, but not now. Aroused though. Yes. Oh, I told you, there's no use trying to hide these things from me. I can sniff it out a mile away. Do you want to? Have some fun with me? Well, why not? A bit of fun never hurt anyone. And that's all it has to be. Hmm. <laughs> Do we need to play 20 questions again? Get the ball rolling. Can I take off this little top of yours? Undo these sweet little buttons? Yes. <laughs> you do like your lacy things. Can I touch? Oh, good. Hmm. They're lovely to play with. Oh, I know it feels good. Your breathing is all over the place. I can smell the pheromones coming off of you in waves. I know what I'm doing. I'm quite skilled, you know. Sit up on the counter, princess. That's better. And what about this skirt of yours? Can I slip my fingers up your legs? Why, thank you. So accommodating. Oh, I'll just keep on going up and up and oh, there we are. I can feel more lace. You like matching sets, don't you? Very aesthetically minded. Well, Strawberry, why don't you spread your legs a little and let me see your pretty things? Hmm. Now look, even a little smile. Are you feeling bashful doing naughty things on the kitchen counter? Maybe. But do you like it? Hmm. See? 
I told you it would make you feel better. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I could take my shirt off, could I? My, 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 look who's mustered up some pluck. I bet you're glad you didn't summon an angel now. Well, because you've been such a good girl. I suppose I could take mine off. <laughs> no, darling, I'm not wearing a bra. So look all you like. Don't be shy now. I'm not wearing any other sort of underwear either. It's not really my style. Oh, well, that got your attention, didn't it? <laughs> Don't worry, little strawberry. It's just you and me here. Just a bit of fun. So why don't we go back to that comfy bed of yours? And I can make you feel all sorts of good things. Hi, sweet cheeks. Well, what's the surprise to look for? I told you I was sticking around to keep an eye on you. So here I am. Tut tut, now you look disappointed. Oh, Strawberry, you're hurting my feelings. Why so disappointed to see me? As I recall, you were very satisfied when we parted ways. I treated you very well. <laughs> I told you, you're hot and I'm bored. So, so bored. I'm a mortal, remember? There's only so much fun to be had in hell after a while. Making people scream via ouchies is a blast and all, but it gets repetitive. I'd rather get people to scream via bedroom fun. It's much more entertaining. Not that we ever made it to the bedroom. <laughs> is your kitchen table still standing, by the way? It was getting quite rickety by the end there. Oh, don't give me that face. You loved it. You know you did. Oh, the silent treatment. Are you really giving me the silent treatment? Oh, the ignoring treatment. Oh, you are in denial, huh? What, if you walk into another room and pretend I'm not here, you think I'll just disappear? Hi. I'm a demon, sweetie. We don't need doors. I can pop up wherever and whenever I please. Following you into the living room is hardly a challenge. <laughs> oh, well, this sofa is nice. Shabby chic. Love the velvet. What? I can't give you a compliment. I told you. I don't lie. What have you been up to, sweet cheeks, since I last saw you? <laughs> Come on. It's not like I'm going to leave if you just keep up the silent treatment. I'll just get louder and more annoying. Like a little cat wanting to come inside. I can be very persistent. Trust me. So tell me, what has filled your days since we last spoke? Oh, university. She's learned then, an intellectual. I happen to think intelligence is sexy, so lucky me. Let me guess, history of art or something. No, music theory. Film studies, look at you. 
I'm sure if I look hard enough around here, there'll be a Frida Kahlo print and a Studio Ghibli collector's box. Microbial ecology. <laughs> well, well, well. You've managed to surprise me. Ten points to you, Strawberry. So you study things that human eye can't even see. Kind of poetic, huh? Paying so much attention to things that are so small. Your dipshit cousin would have had her wedding by now, isn't that right? The one you weren't invited to? I heard along the grapevine that there were several unfortunate mishaps with the venue. What a shame. Me? Oh, no. I never set foot in there. And that's the God's honest truth. <laughs> so tell me, what's got you looking so blue? <laughs> Don't bother with acting, you're no good at it, little Miss Scientist. I've been watching, listening, checking in on you. You're not exactly the happiest soul I've ever seen. What do you mean, why? Did you forget the part where you summoned me to help you? Accident or not, you still did it. I'm still tied to you and you to me. So sue me for doing my job properly. If you wanted someone who was going to half-ass it, then you should have done the spell right in the first place and gotten an angel. No, no, no. I told you last time my name is Privileged Information. If you want to call me something, you can call me... Darling. Or Honey. Or Ma'am. Or Mommy. Whatever tickles your fancy. Oh, yes, there's that blush. Oh, God, it's so cute when you go pink like that. I just want to eat you right up. Douse you in whipped cream or something. <sighs> see, you can go back to giving me the silent treatment all you want, but I can see that blush creeping down from your face, down your neck, down further even. I wonder how far it goes. Speaking of looking cute, isn't my outfit divine? <laughs> divine. Get it? Because I'm a, I'm a demon. Are all scientists this humorless or is it just you? It's fine to stare, Strawberry. Otherwise, what's the point in me dressing up all nice for you? You think I wear leather pants for comfort? What happened to that little spark of confidence you had going last time, huh? You had fun playing with me, didn't you? So why are we back at square one? Oh god, this silent treatment is getting really old. Oh look, you do have a Frida Kahlo print. I knew it. Oh, nothing wrong with it, mind you, but... Goodness, you humans are predictable little things. Oh, she speaks. What I'm doing, sweetheart, is straddling you on this cute little armchair. Oh, because I want you to answer my questions. That and maybe I just like being on top of you. Hmm? So, where'd that sexy confidence streak go, huh? It's not like you have to shout about this across the rooftops. It's just you and me, baby cakes. So come on. Confide in your friendly neighbourhood demon. What's got you looking so glum? Hmm? Speak up, can't hear you. Oh, you didn't think I was coming back? 
<laughs> well, I told you I would, and we've established that I don't lie. So I was coming back. For a smart person, you say some really stupid things. Besides, you're far too entertaining to just leave behind like that. <laughs> Why have you still got that depressed little face on? You really didn't think I was coming back, did you? Hmm. Oh, strawberry. Well, I did come back, so... Cheer up. <laughs> Didn't know you liked me so much. Guess I really did make an impression on that kitchen table, huh? Have you just forgotten how to talk all together? Hmm? Oh, no, 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 no crying. I don't do crying. You are crying, there's water in your eyes. That counts as crying, even if you're trying to blink it away. I notice these things. No point in trying to hide it. What am I doing now? I'm stroking your cheek. Because it looks like you need it. Come on, it feels nice, doesn't it? The backs of my fingers down your cheekbone. Your jaw. I'm a bit insulted, really. Well, you summoned me for help, and like I said, I'm good at my job. Do you really think I'd just abandon you like that? Well, I'm not everyone else, am I? Not even close. <laughs> and I mean, I'll be blunt, I've got other shit to do. I can't babysit you every single day. And besides, you have, like bacteria and stuff to look at. How boring. You can do that on your own, but I'll keep coming back. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness me, so dour. Chin up, buttercup. I'm here now. Good. <laughs> no, I'm not getting off your lap. I'm quite comfortable here. What do I do with my days? Well, uh, go on errands for my superiors. Gather information for them, send messages. Punish those who deserve it. And not the fun type of punishment either. The type of punishment with ice picks and cheese graters. <laughs> That's my favourite part of my job. I think. Making bad people suffer. It's delicious. Oh, you flatter me. No. <laughs> I'm old, very old, but there's a hierarchy. And there are those even older than I am. So I do as I'm told. Most of the time, anyways. You'd be surprised how bureaucratic hell is. And I don't want all of that extra responsibility anyways. I'm quite content being an underling. Well, and now, I've got a strange little human to keep an eye on, don't I? You take up rather a lot of my time, you know. I hope you're better at using microscopes than you are at doing spells. Or there'll be all sorts of mix-ups in those petri dishes. <laughs> There's that little bit of confidence. You're right. I have no doubt that you're a brilliant scientist. A keen observer of the natural world. However tiny your subject matter might be. I bet you look extra hot in a lab coat too. You do wear a lab coat, don't you? Oh, <laughs> good. I would have been most disappointed. Have you got any lab coats at home? Bummer. You should bring one back. Just saying. No, blushing again. Come on, don't you want to play dress-ups with me? 
Well, at least you pick up on flirting, sweet pea. Oh, this would take a lot longer than it already is. Like I said, strawberry, you can look all you like. I mean, my chest is right at your eye level. It's hard not to look. It's almost like I planned it that way. We do have some self-esteem issues to work on, don't we? Do I need to get a clipboard and some glasses? Maybe tie my hair back in a sleek ponytail and wear neutral colours? Oh my god. Listen. No, 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 no. Look at me. And listen. I've lost count of the amount of times I've said that you're hot. Is it really so unbelievable that I want to jump your bones? Hmm? It's not just your body, you know. It's the sounds you make too. <laughs> oh, don't even get me started. Those noises that you don't even realise you're making. The little whimpers when I'm behind you. The moans under your breath. Delightful. <laughs> oh, look how red you've gotten. <laughs> Well, don't you dare try and be quiet from now on. You'll ruin half the fun. And me? What about me? Well, sweetie, this is a two-way street, hmm? An agreement to have some fun together. To let loose. So what do I do that you like? I want to know. Because then I can do more of it, can't I? I don't know. Oh, my God. Hmm. Well, while you think, I'm just going to undo the buttons on your blouse and entertain myself. It's lovely, by the way. Very Stevie Nicks, but you look better naked. Um, um, um can't think of anything you like? I shall have to try harder then. You like this though? Me undoing your shirt so slowly. And see, it's so much better now that I can see that lovely little bralette of yours. And pull the straps off your shoulders so they just hang against your arms. Oh, have you thought of something you like? Oh, well done. <laughs> My horns. Oh, you really like them? Well, thanks, sugar. The right one is ever so slightly crooked. I took a fumble as a fledgling and it didn't grow in quite right. But I think it adds character, don't you? Symmetry is boring. Yes, I can feel when you touch them, when you stroke them, when you grip them tight. It's like someone playing with your hair, a whisper of a feeling. Like this, like if I wind your hair around my fingers. Now doesn't that feel good, Strawberry? Tell me something else you like. That can't be the only thing. So come on, be selfish. What do you want? When I touch you, oh, but I'm touching you now. I'm right on top of you. Touching your face, your neck, your chest. Or do you like it when I touch something lower? Hmm. Mm, lost for words again. It's just one of those days, huh? Well, baby cakes, before we get too engrossed, we really should make use of that very comfortable bed, shouldn't we? In the bedroom, Strawberry. Mm. 
So sorry, did my little disappearing act shock you? I mean, why walk when you can vanish? <laughs> Where were we? Oh yes, touching. Hmm. Well, if we get rid of this blouse, then there'll be so much more to touch. And that skirt should really go as well. It's just getting in the way. Mm. So jittery. You'd think we'd never done this before. Or is that why you're jittery? Because you know what's coming. See? Doesn't that feel so much better? <laughs> you and your matching sets. I very much approve. So when you say you like touching, is it here? That you like my hands tracing along your skin? Along your belly and your hips? Or is it here on your backside? Oh me, oh my, the lace barely covers it, huh? That all seems very pleasant for you, but I think perhaps you're talking about here. Between your legs. Oh, that's the sort of sound I was talking about. <laughs> it's music to my pointed ears. Yes, I am teasing you. It's fun. And that's my main goal in life. To have fun. Besides, what's the rush? You don't want this to be over in a couple of minutes, do you? Not when we've got all night. So sit back on that fluffy bed of yours. Relax. Before I leave, I'm going to make sure there's a big smile on your face. What you doing? Oh, whoa, hey. Chill, baby cakes. Well, of course I snuck up on you. You seemed like you were concentrating super hard. I didn't want to interrupt. Till my curiosity got the better of me. But good instincts. Ten out of ten. I'm not mocking you. I'm sure if you had gone ahead and karate chopped me to the face, it would have really hurt. Definitely would have broken my nose. You might have even crushed a windpipe. You would have done terrible damage. <laughs> I'm a demon, honey. I think you tend to forget that sometimes. Gratuitous violence is kind of my thing. Definitely worthy of praise. Take it in stride. I don't tell just anyone that they could crush my windpipe. What? Don't you want to see me? No, we're not at your house, are we? Am I not allowed to see my little strawberry out in the big wide world? <laughs> Relax. It's after hours. And every other nerd in the building has gone home. No one will know about our little visits. Sorry, no, not nerd. Distinguished scholars of tiny germs and things. Smart people. Is that better? Well, if I'm being honest, I mostly wanted to see what you looked like in one of those white lab coats. It doesn't disappoint. Could be a little shorter, not gonna lie. And it would be so much better if you weren't wearing anything underneath it, but beggars can't be choosers. You should take it home and then I can dress you up exactly how I want. What, demons aren't allowed to play dress-ups? Well, for funsies. You can't have fun because you're working. Humans are so strange. You prioritise all the boring stuff. You gotta work. 
I gotta grind. I gotta listen to someone who's the boss. I gotta, gotta, gotta. Sorry, can't enjoy anything. Don't have time, even though time's a construct. What? Have I read Marx? <laughs> I've met him. Weird dude. Anyways, you never answered my question. Well, what you doing? With your super duper magnifier there. Your microscope, whatever. Looking at a virus. Oh, you're not going to get like all sick, are you? Well, I don't know. I'm not the scientist. You are. And humans are so fragile, you go out in a stiff breeze and keel over. Honestly, it's easier to keep a rabbit alive. Oh, I have pet rabbits. What's that face for? Demons aren't allowed pets? They're small and fluffy and have little noses that go up and down. What's not to like? Well, because guinea pigs squeak all the time. They sound like a high-pitched zebra. Can you stop? Going near the virus dish. Oh, it's a dead virus. Well, that's so much better. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, what's this? A Bunsen burner. <gasps> Can I light shit on fire with it? Hell yeah. Uh, why not? <sighs> Safety protocols. Oh my god. Boring, boring humans. Yes, I did say humans were fragile, but I mean, really, it's a bit beyond a joke. You're the one sticking your face near a virus. What's the matter if it's a dead virus? You're going to stick your face near a dead body? It totally does make sense. Why are you watching me like that? I'm not going to touch anything else, I pinky swear. Believe it or not, I really don't want to get you into trouble. You don't seem emotionally up to getting scolded by an employer. What? You're still watching me. Oh, did you miss me? I think you did. Your complexion is giving you away, my dear. You turn pink so very fast. The coat looks good on you, by the way. I don't know if I actually said that explicitly. Just looking. Imagining what you would look like in one of your pretty little matching sets with that coat over the top. So I could just see a sliver down the middle. A pair of heels. And no makeup, I want to see you blush. It'd just get ruined by the time I was finished with you anyway. Well, I dress up for you, Strawberry. Maybe I want you to dress up for me for once. <laughs> I was joking. You don't have to do what I want, okay? Don't freak out. Well, no. I suppose you're not freaking out. <laughs> Is that a bit of confidence I see? My goodness. <laughs> I do love it when you go red, but you're practically glowing, so tell me. What are you thinking about, huh? Can't hear you, sweet pea. Confident. Remember? Loud voice. Chin up. Tits out. You did what I said. I've said a lot of things, sweet cheeks. You're going to have to narrow it down. Oh, you bought toys? <gasps> Strawberry, I'm so proud of you. What did you get? No, no, actually, don't tell me. I want to be surprised. <gasps> well, this is momentous. We should celebrate and play with them immediately. Oh, they're in the post still. Bummer. Oh, but waiting for them to arrive is going to be delicious. Not so bummer. <gasps> I am proud of you. I don't lie, do I? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I've fully distracted you from your work. Oh, it's almost like that's exactly what I intended. 
What can I say? I'm good at getting what I want. Well, I didn't think it was possible, but you're getting even more flushed. So what you thinking about to turn you that red, huh? Oh, come on, tell me. There's no one else here, not in the whole building. And you know by now you can trust me, right? I won't make fun. Oh, our last time together, yes. What about it, sweet cheeks? You liked when... When I told you what to do. Hmm. We're learning about ourselves, are we? And, oh, Strawberry, it's not a bad thing to like that. No, no, no. Well, I'm extra double proud of you now. Look at you. Buying toys. Actually telling me what you like. Oh, I double pinky swear that there's no one else here. Cross my heart. <laughs> yes, you can most certainly leave the coat on. Oh, why can't we stay in here? The bench is the perfect height. Oh, you know what? I usually put up a fight, but I've seen at least three labels in here that say acid. So go on. Lead the way. Oh, look at you taking charge. Stop it, you'll bring a tear to my eye. But don't actually stop it, because it's doing other things to me. Oh, a classroom. Oh, much better. <laughs> much, much better. Well, come on, Strawberry, what now? Shall I take the lead from here on out? Is that what you want? Hmm. What do I want? Hmm. Well, shoes off. They'll just get in the way. And whose desk is this? Whoever's lecturing, so all sorts of people sit here. And you, are you in this classroom a lot? Do you take classes here? So the next time you sit on one of those chairs and look over at the intelligent person teaching you things, would you like to remember being spread eagle on their desk? Because I think that sounds like fun, don't you? Hmm. Take off your pants. Actually, take off everything. And hand me the lab coat. You heard me. Good. You're so good. You're so brave. Hmm? Oh, and so clever, because you already know what I want. Good, sweet girl. Go on, then. Put the coat back on. Hmm. See, now that's a beautiful sight. Give me a spin, go on. <laughs> what now? I'm trying to decide. There's so many things I could do. I'll get you to do, rather. For now, sit up on the desk. Oh, honey, you are doing so good. This isn't really the time or place to be sitting with your knees together, now is it? Go on. Spread them. Hmm. Beautiful. Hmm. I have decided what you're going to do. Oh, don't worry about what I'll be doing. I'll be doing all sorts of things. Your only goal 
my sweet little strawberry, is to stay on that desk and not fall on the floor. And I will be making it very difficult for you. Hey, so have you ever had Pringles before? Jesus, yeah, hi. You need to stop acting surprised when I show up, sweet cheeks. Jumpy little humans. But back to my point, have you had Pringles before? Because they're like, super good, but this tube thing is stupid. I have bony long demon hands, they don't fit down here. I have to tip them out like I'm a raccoon fumbling in the trash. I'd say this packaging was the devil's work, but I won't insult my boss like that. He has spatial awareness, at least. What? Well, I suppose I have been popping by rather a lot lately. But I haven't heard you complaining. Quite the opposite. In fact, you've seemed to be enjoying yourself very much. Am I not allowed to be curious about what your little science lab looks like? Well, now I know what it looks like. Very boring. But I also know what the inside of your car looks like too. Also quite boring, but it smells nice in there at least. What? Are you getting sick of me? <laughs> I doubt it. I'm awesome. I mean, look at me. I'm practically a work of art. Though you're not bad yourself, you know. I mean, sure, it would be interesting to see you in a bit of leather, maybe. Once in a while. Ooh, maybe some lycra. Not every day, just for funsies, for dress-ups. I mean, the same could be said. I could always slip on a little macrame crop top and some bell-bottom jeans. Put some flowers on my horns like a proper little hippie. Oh, don't look at me like that. Who says we're not allowed to play dress-ups? It'll be funny. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Like you're concerned, all serious. I don't like it. You should say something funny instead. Go on, talk about germ theory. That always gets you going. What pesky little diseases have you been studying lately? What's growing in those petri dishes of yours? Hmm? Why do I have to talk when I can just sit here, eat my Pringles from their poorly designed packaging and stare at your ass? That's what I popped up here for. I didn't come here to talk. No, I didn't just come up here for that either. That's a bonus. But don't make me out like I'm some rabid dog. I'm perfectly capable of being in the same room as you and not bending you over a table. Well, maybe I just like you. Has that crossed your mind? Perhaps you're actually likeable. I don't really know how else to get it through your head, kid. You're nice to be around. Sorry. And maybe I like looking at lava lamps and all the half-finished crochet projects lying about this place. Maybe I enjoy being here, but does anyone ever ask what I like? No. And besides, isn't that what friends do? They go and sit in each other's houses and eat snacks. As far as I can tell, that's basically it. You called on me in the first place because you had no one else to help you. So I don't see why you're so eager to be questioning why I keep turning up. Yeah, well, you might have intended on calling on an angel, but you're really crap at rituals, so you're stuck with me instead. 
but I did help you anyways. Good luck getting an angel to bend those sorts of rules. And aren't we friends? I thought we were friends, otherwise what's the point of me being here? I solved your problem. I have no technical reason to keep coming back. My job is done. Yeah, well, you never asked. <laughs> what? Could you, like, say things instead of just staring at me with those big moon eyes of yours? Just because I'm supernatural doesn't mean I'm a mind reader. It doesn't matter if I was saying I didn't want to before. This is now, not before. Um, I don't know. I, I like blues music, I guess. That kid Robert who made a deal with the boss to play guitar. He's down below now in, like, the nice part. He always puts on a great show. Um, I like... Why does it matter? Why are you asking questions all of a sudden? I thought we were arguing. Because you like me too. Yeah, sure, because I get you off. Okay. Well, I suppose I am funny. I can be, like, really nice too. When I want to be. If we're talking about, you know, my good characteristics. Well, I know I dress spectacularly. I don't need anyone to tell me that. Sorry, Strawberry. I still can't really tell you my name. Told you the first time we met. It's against the rules and I'm not super eager to be getting in trouble. It starts with a D, though. Yeah, well. Whatever. <laughs> I didn't have hurt feelings. I don't know what you're talking about. Good, well, fine. Yeah, sure, I can keep hanging out. I'm quite comfortable here, actually. I had no intention of leaving. Mm-hmm. And you? What are you doing? Dinner. Hmm. I don't know why you insist on making dinner every night when it would be so much easier to just buy it, but, well, we've established that you're weird. I mean, I'm happy with my Pringles, but I'm sure I could maybe fit in a helping of whatever it is you're cooking. We demons have healthy appetites. Unless it's that vegetarian crap, then I... Oh, then, yeah, no. That sounds good, then. I'm not helping. I don't do the domestic thing. Like I said, I'm quite comfortable in my chair. You know, right, that... Like you're weird, but you're the cool sort of weird. The sort where boring people are mean to you because they're jealous of you. Do you know that? I'll just have to keep reminding you. You're lucky you have me. You know, your self-esteem would be in the bin otherwise. No, you still haven't answered my question, by the way, before you derailed, like, the whole conversation. Do you like Pringles? Hey, so... ah. You totally didn't flinch when I popped on in here. Progress. Look at you go, sweet cheeks. Yeah, anyway, enough about you. So, I have maybe an odd request. Why do you look scared when I say that? 
Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm always down for expanding your horizons, baby cakes. And I always take requests. But stop making this about you, okay? Right now, it's about me. I have noticed over my many visits to your humble little cave of crochet and baked goods that you are in possession of a bathtub. Good, good, excellent. I would like to make use of it. Please. See, I said please, so that means I have good manners. Well, yeah, we have baths downstairs in the H to the E to the double hockey sticks, but they're... Well, the ones I would use, well, they're rather luxurious. I mean, it's hell, right? So the water's always piping hot and the walls are practically paved in gold. For a certain population, at least. Well, because that's not what I want. It's boring. And you're so entertaining, Strawberry, with all of your little things your little rituals that you do on the daily, and I thought I'd join in for the funsies. So I would please like to have a proper human bath, like on the TV shows, with a too loud tap and a too small tub where you have to bend your knees and rest your head on the rim without any support. <laughs> And you have to swish all the water around to make it the right temperature. <laughs> oh, you're a treasure. And there's bubbles, surely. Tell me there's bubbles. Oh. Hmm. Oh. But a bath bomb. I'll certainly accept that as a substitution. Well, even though tonight is about me, as it should be, I can't deny my little strawberry a show, can I? I've got to disrobe one way or another. <laughs> do you like? That's a stupid question, of course you do. Yes, I do always wear elaborate lingerie. What's the point otherwise? You're very obsessed with this comfort thing. Is that what all the throw cushions are about? Hmm, I thought so. I thought the mirror would be getting foggier already, but that's fine, I suppose. The more reflective surfaces to admire myself in, the better. You rub soap on the mirror so that it doesn't fog up. You're weird. Like you know that, right? I mean, I love it. Embrace it. Celebrate it. But that's... That's a weird thing to do. Okay, good. Just as long as you're aware. <laughs> we don't want you being delusional, do we? And... Oh... The bath bomb is a little flower. Oh, see, you don't get this type of shit down in hell. This is adorable. Huh. <laughs> oh, this is quite the novelty. <laughs> You'd wash my hair? Like with shampoo? No. Oh. No, don't wash my horns. I oil them, it's a process. <laughs> so you just don't get this inconsistency in temperature down in hell? No, it's all rather orderly. I mean, what better way to torture certain souls but to make them bureaucratic cogs in a machine until the end of time? And it keeps things running rather smoothly for the rest of us. What are you doing? Oh, well, you can wash me, I suppose, with your little puffball thing. I thought you were just washing my hair. Well, that's right, it is all about me. You do catch on quickly. 
I'll go on then my little fruit cup. Proceed. What? You look like you're gathering courage for something. Well, tell me, baby, what is it you're thinking? You can wash my chest. <laughs> hmm. And do be thorough. We both know there's quite the array of bodily fluids that ends up there on occasion. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's elsewhere that needs washing, is there? I didn't realise I was so dirty. Yes, well, speaking of bodily fluids. Huh. Well, you are being nice to me, aren't you? Your fingers have gotten so nimble, <laughs> but you're supposed to be cleaning me up, and here you are making me all dirty again. You are. I can feel it. Oh, I'm sure you can feel it too. All over your fingers. Oh, you can't. Maybe push them in deeper then. Hmm. Oh, you're mean. Cruel human girl. <laughs> Finish this later. Who taught you to be such a tease? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, that is a taste of my own medicine, isn't it? Is this where you wash my hair? Oh, it's strawberry scented, you absolute fiend. <laughs> Delicious, I love it. I have been an excellent influence on you. All right, I'm leaning back, bossy. Hmm. I just don't have anything to say at this exact moment. I was just thinking that it feels rather nice. Is this what humans do for each other when they like one another? Wash their hair? Well, more of them should, then. You're so gentle. It's just an observation. I don't know if anyone's been gentle with me before. It's nice. <laughs> I suppose this is all sort of an experiment. An observation, at least. An enjoyable one. And what does someone do after a bath, then, to continue this relaxation business? Well, I do quite like television. It's so silly. Hmm. Because I'm enjoying myself. I shall have to repay the favour. But on a different day. One that's all about you. Hey. Hey, Strawberry. Wake up. Wake up. Hi. You're okay. It's just me. It's just me, see? Wounds and all. You awake now? Okay. That seemed unpleasant. Hmm? Whatever you were dreaming about. 
You want to talk about it? No, that's alright. But it was just a dream, okay? Whatever it was. And you're awake now. Well, you summoned me in the first place to help when you were in distress, remember? And here you are, in distress. Even if it is the sleeping kind, so I thought I'd come up topside and check what was going on, hmm? Good thing I did, because you nearly rolled out of bed. Could have hit your head, like, real bad on that nightstand, so I basically saved your life. <laughs> you should be eternally grateful. You're saying you're alright, but I don't think you are. Look, you're all sweaty. And I thought we established I'm the only one who gets to make you look like that. Just take a deep breath. Yeah, and now another one. Deep and slow and even. That's the only thing you have to worry about, sweet cheeks. Just breathe. Even and slow. Good. That's much better. I don't need you hyperventilating on me because I don't actually know first aid, believe it or not, and popping you over to the emergency room would cause quite the stir and I can't be bothered with all the gossip that would follow, so just do me a favour, yeah, and breathe in and out. And again, in, and out, good, that's much better, strawberry. Yeah, your blankets are all tangled up because you were kicking up a storm. I nearly got punched in the face too. No, don't, don't be sorry, you idiot. I was impressed. Dare I say proud, but remind me, yeah, at some point I'm going to have to teach you how to throw a proper punch. Your form was terrible. You're alright, look at me. You're alright. Everything is alright. I think you should try and fall back asleep now. Because I keep tabs on you, sweet cheeks. I know what you get up to, and I know how many hours you've been working in that sterile little white lab of yours. I was even good and didn't let you know I was there because you were concentrating so hard. And I also know how little you've slept. I can see your eyes drooping as we speak. You need to sleep. Spying is such an impersonal sort of word. I prefer keeping guard. Mm, what good am I to my little human if I don't keep an eye on you? Here. Mm, much better. I told you all you have to worry about is breathing. And out. Which you've been doing your whole life, so you're very good at it. I can stay. If you want me to. Then I can stay, Strawberry. Even when you fall back asleep, I'll stay till morning, alright? I'll even make sure you wake up for your... Tedious little classes on bacteria and cells. Oh, you'll be able to fall back asleep, don't worry. Because I say so. 
and we've established that I'm always right, so, <laughs> so you just have to breathe. Hmm? Your hair is even more wild than usual, goodness. Maybe I'll make that my project while you sleep, hmm? combing it all out. Mm, I don't need a brush. Have you seen my claws? I know you've felt them, at least. <laughs> no, I never can stop flirting, because where's the fun in that? I can't look at these knots any longer here. Let me fiddle with your hair. Well, you washed my hair for me, didn't you? And I'll admit it did feel very nice, so let me do something nice in return. I'm nothing if not fair. And see, my claws are just so much better than a brush. Much more precise. Look, just let me make you feel better. And go to sleep. Mm-hmm. I could do that scalp scratchy thing. Just run my claws over your scalp. I'm gonna have to be super gentle so I don't poke you. Well, I'm glad that it feels good. It would be a lot easier if your hair wasn't a complete rat's nest, but here we are. I shall just have to soldier through. See? That's better. Your breathing is back to normal now. If you have another bad dream, then I'll be here, won't I? And I'll wake you up. So there's nothing to worry about. You're not going to get hurt with me around, sweet cheeks, I can assure you. Close your eyes. Go on. Just close your eyes and breathe. I'll be here untangling your hair. And that's definitely going to take me till morning, so I'm not going anywhere. Why are your eyes back open? Hmm? What? <laughs> I promise not to leave. Yes, strawberry, I promise. And I don't break those, do I? No. So I will be here when you wake up. And your hair will look magnificent. <laughs> and you are going to feel so much better after actually sleeping for a few hours, alright? Trust me. Close your eyes. Breathe. That's all you have to do. Leave the rest to me. <laughs> <laughs>